Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest, your host on Intellect Digest and today we give you a review of one of the most talked about Windows phone, the Nokia Lumia 520, one of the most affordable Windows 8 devices in the market. This is an interesting smartphone with a very nice form factor, good features, good build quality and has lot of features in store for you. Let's get started. The Nokia Lumia 520 is a compact and handy phone. As you can see, it is comfortable to hold in one hand. It's not very bulky and the thickness of this phone is just 9.9 millimeters. It has a 4 inch display at front and the display is IPS display so has good viewing angles although it gets slightly dark when you turn it too much but nevertheless the viewing angles are really good. The display resolution is 480 by 800 pixels on this 4 inch screen and the pixel per inch density comes out to be 233 pixels per inch. Giving you a quick hardware tour of the phone, there is no front facing camera on the Nokia Lumia 520 but the 620 gets a front facing camera. There is standard speaker mesh over the top and a small mic hole indent in the bezel as you can see here. There are three capacitive touch buttons, the window button, back button and the search button which takes you to the Bing search engine. On the right hand side you get three buttons. The middle one is a power or wake up key with which you can lock or unlock the screen and the top one is a large volume rocker and on the bottom you have a dedicated camera shutter key. There is a small micro USB port for charging as well as data transfer on the bottom. On the rear you have a speaker mesh, Nokia branding, a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus but this one comes without flash. The left side is totally clean. The edges are tapered or bent edges as you can see so these are nice and curvy whereas the front is sharp, rectangular finish so it looks good. Taking the cover or the back cover off is slightly tricky. The phone looks almost like a unibody structure. There is a scratch resistant glass at front but you can take off the back cover to access the battery compartment as well as insert the SIM and micro SD card. This phone has 8GB internal memory so if you want to increase the memory of this phone you can add a micro SD card over here. The battery capacity on this phone is 1430mAh and interestingly with the kind of optimization they have done in the software this battery does last for up to 9 hours of usage on a 3G network which is tremendous. There is a micro SIM card slot just below the battery over here and a micro SD card slot just next to it. The Lumia 520 has only a single SIM option. There is no dual SIM option in the 520 if you are looking for it. And it comes in 5 vibrant colors. The black, white, red, yellow and cyan or the blue color. One of the most common questions on a user's mind when he buys a budget phone is that whether he can play games and how is the display. This phone has an Adreno 305 GPU from Qualcomm and a dual core 1 GHz processor with 512MB of RAM which is capable of doing decent moderate games. I'll quickly play a few games for you to show you how it works. So first we play a racing game which uses the motion inputs as well as the touch inputs. It will demonstrate fairly how the touch calibration as well as motion calibration is done on this phone. And as you can see the graphics are rendering fairly good. I have to control this motorbike using the motion and I have to protect my player from colliding with the other vehicles. So let's try again. As you can see the control is accurate. The graphic rendering on the Lumia 520 on basic games is very good. It does not seem that this phone has any less graphic or computing capabilities on this gameplay experience. Let's play another game. So we quickly jump to the game section and this one is called the AE Fruit Slush. Very similar to what we see on Fruit Ninja on Android and iOS platforms. The game loading time as you can see is also not very high. It takes just a few seconds for the games to load. The multitasking algorithms of Windows Phone 8 device are very efficient 
when compared to its counterparts like iOS and Android. The good thing about this phone is that it doesn't get too slow. Even when you run multiple applications, the way it saves state is very good. The gaming experience is coming out to be nice. The touch input as well as the vibrance of the screen in this display is also very impressive. Oops. So it was a quick gaming demo. Let's proceed with rest of our review. Talking of the specifications, the Nokia Lumia 520 is powered by a Qualcomm 1 GHz dual core processor has Windows Phone 8 operating system which allows you many new features over the Windows Phone 7 platform that you see. Talking of the internal memory, there is 7.23 GB of internal memory out of which around 2 GB is used by the system and rest 5.7 GB is approximately available to the user. If you want to add more memory, you can add a micro SD card of up to 32 GB under the battery compartment on this phone. The Windows Phone 8 functionality allows you to resize or customize the tiles just like this so you can rearrange them, move them around, place them like you want and you can simply change the position as well as colors of the tiles. This is very interesting. You can also change the themes by going to settings, themes, you can change the color theme, etc. So, in terms of software functionality as well as the specifications, this phone does impress with the kind of performance as well as the specifications it packs in a budget of around $200 or 10,000 rupees. Talking about the camera on the Nokia Lumia 520, it has a dedicated camera shutter key over here. So, when you want to start clicking, just click this button and it will take you to the camera app which is very interesting so there is no front camera only a rear camera 5 megapixel autofocus and it also offers touch to focus so if i want to focus on a particular section in the picture i can just tap on it and it will take a picture of the same also i can use the shutter key in which case it will use the autofocus to detect the focus point and it clicks the quality of picture as you can see the color reproduction is coming out to be very accurate and the detailing in the picture is also very good as you can see the pixels are not breaking easily even on the full level of zoom and the scrolling is also very smooth. So the camera does impress us but it is not very exceptionally high as compared to the 820 and 920 which come with Carl Zeiss optic. This is a basic camera but it does the job fairly well. You may not be able to capture good images in dark since it does not have a flash. The Nokia Lumia 520 camera offers a smart shoot feature which is basically a lens or an app inside the settings with which you can click group pictures and you can select to keep a particular shot in which everyone has a smiling face. Basically it takes a burst mode of sequential pictures and stitches them in a way that everyone on the picture has a smiling face which is very interesting. The Nokia Lumia 520 camera gives a feature called cinema graph. What it does is when you click pictures in the cinema graph mode, it captures some pictures in sequential motion and creates an animation out of it which is a very interesting camera feature. Also a photo beamer app which allows you to share photos with friends on the phone or the Nokia Lumia platform which is very interesting. With just a 5 megapixel camera without flash, the Nokia has made it very interesting with the kind of software and features it has integrated with the camera, making it a fun to use device. The Nokia Lumia 820 camera also offers panorama mode in which you can take pictures in a continuous mode and stitch them together side by side to create stunning landscape pictures. A smartphone is incomplete if it does not play good videos. So let me quickly play back a video from our channel to show you how the video playback quality comes out to be. So as you can see the loudness level as well as the display quality on a video playback on the Nokia Lumia 520 along with the angles from which you can see the screen is fairly impressive. So when it comes to video playback, 
this phone does impress us. The call and signal quality on the Nokia Lumia 520 is fairly good. We have tested it on a 2G as well as 3G connection and it does a fairly good job. The talk time as well as the battery life on normal usage is also fairly impressive. It can last for 2 to 3 days on a normal usage and more than 1.5 days if you are a heavy user. If you are a big music buff and love to listen to FM radio, you will be slightly disappointed to know that it does not have the FM radio support. However, it provides the Nokia music service which allows you to listen to the latest music from Nokia servers for free for a limited time and you can buy the subscription later on. You can add music, videos, podcasts and you can purchase more music from the Nokia store as well. Talking of the real smartphone capabilities of the Nokia Lumia 520, it supports almost all the functionalities that a smartphone provides. It supports all the applications like the Facebook, Twitter, the social networking apps. WhatsApp etc. It has a people's hub so very interesting the kind of updates that it gives. It collates your updates from different platforms and puts them together in one place. You can install WhatsApp, dedicated Facebook applications, it has music, it has gaming. I'll quickly show you a browser demo to show you how the browsing experience comes out to be on this phone. There is HTML5 support which supports the inbuilt video capabilities of this HTML5 platform and as you can see the browsing is fairly smooth and there is no lag or jutter I'll also try to pinch to zoom and the pinch to zoom also works fine on this browser I'll also show you uh, another tab which has a video channel open so this is our video channel intellect digest and the kind of browsing experience that it is giving right now seems to be very impressive. The way it is rendering graphics. Also I'll show you the multitasking capabilities on the Nokia Lumia 520. To use that you just need to long press on this back key and it will show you all the open applications or the recent applications that you have been through and you can quickly switch. To do a quick search or Bing search you can just press this button, the search button and type your search query over here. The keyboard however looks small but works very well and it is fairly accurate in typing. It does not give a feel of sluggishness or it does not give a feel of overlap of words. It is fairly comfortable to type on a Nokia Lumia 520 besides its small compact form factor. You can install more apps into your Nokia Lumia. 520 or any Nokia Lumia Windows 8 device by just going to the marketplace and searching for the apps. There are both paid as well as free apps available on the store. To help you choose the applications in a more convenient way, Nokia has also included a feature called the App Highlights. The App Highlights provides you the applications which are popular based on your interest as well as your region. So if you are in a specific country or a region, it will show you what all applications are popular in the region where you live. The Windows Phone 8 also provides you wallet functionality which may not be available right now in India but what it does is that you can add your credit card information and other financial information and make payments and purchase applications etc directly from the Windows Phone 8 device. The earlier known Nokia maps are now called the Hair maps which are fairly accurate and the Lumia 520 offers great navigation capabilities. The Nokia Drive is a step-by-step -step navigation system which will give you voice commands on how to drive to a particular location. There is also Nokia Maps with which you can locate certain destinations when you are not driving. This is all we have on a detailed review of the Nokia Lumia 520. We hope you like our video. Please press the like button below for more such videos. Please press subscribe. This is Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.